my friends listen I told you that I had planted the purple Peruvian potatoes look at how beautiful these are they're purple on the outside and I cut one so I could show you the inside how pretty those are get a good look at that I'm gonna show you today I know I've done scallop potatoes before but I am gonna make some easy scallop potatoes with these just simply using some cream of mushroom soup a little bit of milk and butter just very simple I'm going to show you how pretty these turn out and these friends are probably one of the healthiest potatoes you can eat so I am going to include this in my healthy eating series because they are packed full of antioxidants and believe it or not a little bit of history with this they've um they say they live up to their hue and their lineage because 7,000 years ago they were reserved for the Incan kings in their native Peru. They also represented great wealth and power. That's why royalty always had purple. But today we got them. I planted them in the garden. I probably got, what do you think Dave, about 50 pounds? Close to. That's, I, I gave about half of them away. So that's what's in the box. That was half of it. I think it's about 50 pounds of potatoes. But anyway, friends, enough with the mumbo jumbo. We will show you how pretty these turn out when you make some scallop potatoes with them. So all I'm going to do is maybe, there we go. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice these up real thin with my mandolin. Look at how gorgeous that is. I just love that. So when I get these all sliced up, I'll be back. Okay? Okay, friends. We got our potatoes, and they turned out beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some in here. And then I'm just going to slice this. And slice the end off that. I got one small onion. You don't have to use onion if you don't want, but I'm just going to layer it in there, just like so. These are going to be pretty, and they stay in their color. And you know what? I've never canned the purple potatoes before, but I bet they'll be pretty in a jar. So you'll see that because I'll do a video on canning these. Not in depth like I did the last one, but so you get an idea of how they turn out. Okay, we're also going to put a little more... One more layer in here. That fits in perfect, don't it? All right. That's good. Just like so. We don't want that piece in there. Okay, now I'm going to take a little few slices of onion. And you've seen, I just did a smaller potato. All right, so we're going to get that all mixed up in there. Okay, now with that, you see those, how gorgeous those are sitting there. I'm going to take a can of cream of mushroom soup. You can use any cream soup you want. I'm just making this the lazy and easy way. I just want to see how these are going to turn out. And we love my friends and I, because of course John isn't home right now. So we can have these with cream of mushroom soup and onions. So we're making it up good. And I think I'm going to need two cans with all that. Okay. Put those in there. We'll rinse those up for the recycle bin. And here we go. These would add... <clears throat> absolute beautiful color because even when you mash these they retain their color they stay purple and you have literally purple mashed potatoes they're wonderful okay now I'm just gonna put a little bit of milk in here probably a third cup in my whisk I'm gonna set that aside just for now before I do that I'm gonna put a little pepper in here you like pepper Dave? Well, you fit right in the family because 
We love it too. There we go. I'm not going to add salt to this because the cream soup is salty. Uh, it's not the low sodium. So I'm not going to add salt. But we're just going to whip this together just like so. Might need just a little more milk. How do you like that? Just a dot more because it'll thin down a little as it bakes. So, okay. We got that mixed up. Now, I'm going to bring this back up here, and we are going to pour this all over the top of these taters. Wonderful. Don't waste any. All right. Spread these around. And as they bake, they'll just bake right on through. Just cover up those layers. Look at gorgeous. I'm also going to take did grind this up and sprinkle a little more parsley over the tops of these potatoes. Yeah, this is the parsley from my garden. It's gorgeous, isn't it? All right. We're going to stick this. I'm going to put this in a 400 degree oven. And you know what? I'll tell you how long it cooks when I come back and show you how wonderful it turns out. I would think it would be about 45 minutes to an hour and either 350, 400 degrees. But I'm going to put mine at 400. And when it's done, I'll bring it back and show you. Okay, friends, these just come out of the oven. Look how gorgeous they are. All right. I'm going to serve up your plate. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that color. Those, friends, turned out wonderful. I know you'll want a little more, right? Is that good? It looks good. Looks good. And we're having f my southern fried chicken with it. There you have it. Look at those All beautiful right. potatoes. I bet you can't wait to... Looks it. fantastic. It does. There you have it, friends. Give it a try. The purple potatoes, the blue potatoes, all of them are wonderful. So give it a try. They're packed with antioxidants, and they're a healthier choice. And they're beautiful on the plate. There you have it. Thanks for watching.